Okay, you know what? Instead of complaining about uh, any kind of shit within, what is it, uh, invincible and in its nihilistic piece of shit tendencies, no, nope. I'm gonna concentrate on what I do like. What I do like, unlike uh, you know, Draco's Star Warden, which is again is quite likable and enjoyable and filled with pew pew. This particular title called The Last Star Warden, Tales of Adventure and Mystery from Frontier Space. Well. That's right up my pulp alley, especially with the pew pew and everything else. Again, both types of Star Warden are fun, uh, I, but uh, today I am going to legitimately concentrate on this a bit. It's about 200 pages. Uh, it has some internal artwork. Um, it has a lot of what I'm just looking for, just lighthearted fun for the most part. Um, sure, there's some more tense moments, you know, just because you got to create conflict and everything else, but it remembers what it's like to be just fun genuine escapism heroic actions of old like the barsooms of old you know even though it's not quite sword and planet it's more like mm, pulpy western meets pulpy pew pew with with a little bit of like a galactic patrol thrown in if if i'm trying to kind of mishmash some stuff together uh, the cover definitely strikes your fancy because this tells you like this guy, this guy right here, this Star Warden. Yeah, he he reminds me of the good old 1950s kind of pew pew aesthetic, with a little bit of modern kind of, not modern in terms of like a postmodern dreck, but mo more modernized in terms of the the cover has, you know, deeper colors where it needs. It's kind of like paint painter-esque, I guess. Kind of like what the old pulps did have. It catches your eye. Uh, he has a companion that's like used to be a former enemy. So you have that angle if you enjoy that particular setup. And he's not afraid to have his characters actually look kind of, you know, like appealing. You know, the women actually look like women. The guys look like guys, that sort of thing. So if you're missing that out of your entertainment, I would say definitely go there. Um, hmm. Kind of like the f old Frontier Lawsman feel of the, some of the older stuff that Dad watches every once in a while with the old John Wayne westerns. This kind of has that vibe, but of course it's in a sci-fi setting, which again, the pulps really didn't. Uh, contain themselves to one particular wheelhouse. They like to merge different wheelhouses. So yeah, this thing, it can be read fairly quickly within a few sittings, like say two to three sittings. But each of these stories, um, they're kind of like a little serial short story length in each of them, but they all tie together in different ways. So it's like if you just want to sit down and read something real quick, you know, a couple of interesting short stories. And I do like the fact that he does have little bits of artwork in here. And, and it, yeah, it, it, it reminds me of the pulps in all the good ways. What else could you want for this channel? So that's, that's my, that's my main takeaway from this. It's, it's offering you something on the table that's different from all the got torture porn and misery porn and everything else that's out there if you just want genuine fun and entertainment and escapism then you can't go wrong picking this book up worth every penny in fact eventually once i once i'm able to i'm gonna get it around to getting some actual physical copies of things that really basically stuck with me um but yeah, just flipping through a little bit more because I'm about halfway through because I've, I've realized with the way my schedule is, I might as well do these highlights when I've actually gotten partway through something. Oh, yeah. I can't really think of anything else to say that other than the fact that I'm very happy to have spent this money. And the fact that, yes, all the artwork, it it just fits. It it has the kind of that retro feel, but you can tell he really cares about this setting. And that's what's important. He has like femme fatales and like how, how is the hero going to help this particular damsel? But they also, you know, what a lot of times what a lot of modern commentary people do, they're like, oh, this, this isn't progressive enough or blah, blah, blah. Like, no, it's just fun. 
he knows what he likes and his wheelhouse is on full display here so again if you could spare the time and a little bit of the money I think you'll enjoy this thing I know I did and I'll be waiting to see more stuff and that you know what it even has a little bit of uh, kind of like that uh, haunted space station sort of set up for one of the later stories that I'm about to get into and I'm like yes you know what I'm always I'm always good for for haunted space stations it's like you can't go wrong you can't go wrong people you just gotta find things you like and prom help promote it have a good day everybody